Good morning all. The final part of the ventilation fan jigsaw puzzle is the outlet. So the hose will fit over there. I've got um, some Jubilee clips for that. Let me show you those. Uh, metal circular hose clip and they're just bands with a, 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 a rack I suppose this is, a, a gear drive and these worm gears on here and it just clamps around the 100 millimeter to hold the hose onto the outlet. Now I bought this outlet at B&Q and it was quite expensive but I thought this will this is what I want because it's got an insect screen but the insect screen is actually rubbish it's just flimsy plastic and you can just pull it away and one of the welded studs has already kind of broken away so that's absolute rubbish I thought the look of this it looked like metal so I'm very disappointed with this, and I'm not sure I can take it back now. And it, as I said, it was about eight pounds. Then I found this uh, external louvered wall vent white in Wix. And it's the same brand, Manrose. And this was only about two pounds. So I don't know what's going on with B&Q. They're marking these things up to a ridiculous extent. So I think this is going to be much better. But of course, it doesn't have the insect screen. It has the 100 millimeter. Uh, spigot it's a large spigot but um and it also has sort of screw holes and a square outer frame so i think this is going to be much more substantial but it doesn't have the insect grill and sort of small flies can very easily get through there so what i did was i went on ebay and i bought this let's open it uh, so this was a uk seller 2.99 this was uh, let's get it out Look at that proper metal. I've got a feeling this is stainless steel uh, wire mesh grill. And I think these were something like 3.3 millimeter pitch. I got a feeling it was 0.7 millimeter uh, wire thickness, but they had loads of different types and you could get it in 150, 150, which is about six inches square, or you could get it in twice that size. So I thought I'd just go for a one off but now I've got to cut this. And what I want to do is make it an interference fit so that as I push it in, it locks in. The wires are slightly bent up this way. It locks in and ain't never coming back out. And I'm not entirely sure the best way to do this. And as I say, oh, I wonder if I could get two. No, I don't think I could get two. Uh, although actually I could probably get um, one full one. And then if I make an error, I could probably get two half circles and it's worth maybe perhaps doing my first cut over to one side well i don't really want to sharpie around there and make it all black and nasty so i think those are the same outer diameter so i might as well use this for something i think i'll use it for drawing around uh, to mark this let's give it a go i've got three sharpie fine points here but they actually all draw with varying degrees of uh, width with thickness. So I've marked them one, two, and three. Oh, one, two, and three. Uh, so that I can, let's use number two. So I, I think this is going to be a process of cutting and trying to push it into here and then cutting more and just making micro tiny cuts to get this thing to go in. But let's draw the initial circle and hope that it marks the mesh sufficiently so that I can make the initial cut mustn't slip on this first draw and then I've got to start making some cuts yeah well we got some sort of impression there I've got to be careful not to wipe it off as I cut it but now I think I'm just gonna to have to go around with uh, wire cutters and just nibble that out wow this is a really indistinct line I can almost see this better on camera than I can in real life but I'm gonna have to start making some cuts oh that is tough stuff this is gonna be hard work right cutting this is near impossible because being stainless steel it's extremely tough and I'm just gonna wreck any tool I use to cut it so I've come up with an alternative approach which I don't know how well this is gonna work long term but I just grab the wire and rotate it half a dozen times or it's perhaps more than half a dozen times with fine nose pliers and it breaks it's 
It's going to take a while, but that is going to damage my tools less than attempting to cut it. Is stainless steel magnetic? Well, it's certainly sticking to that. Now, this is starting to damage the edges of my regular use needle nose pliers, which I don't really want to damage. Uh, so I've tried to find some old pliers. I've got a set here which have an angle on, but will they break? Only one way to find out, but I don't use these for anything, so I might as well put them to this task. There's only one tool that actually has the dexterity to do this, and that are my needle nose pliers. So they're going to get written off, I think, in this. This just doesn't work because for some reason that angle causes the wire to slip out and then it just these wires are not welded they're they're just simply threaded through each other and it just the wire starts to pull and loosen and then i tried that but that didn't work so yeah i think these are going to get written off and i'll have to find something on ebay magnet which um can replace them they're quite old yeah this is a real challenge because Sometimes the wire slips in the pliers and then you're not so much bending it, you're just rotating it inside the pliers, which is damaging the pliers but not damaging the wire. And there are two wires I simply cannot work, so I'm going to have to try working them with the cutters, I think. I'm probably going to write off my cutters at the same time. This is going to wreck all my tools working on this project. Hmm. Well, I've got that far, so but it's all a bit straggly around here. Yeah, this is a, a real challenge with basic tools. I mean, anyone who says, I'll just saw it, that would be incredibly messy. Uh, I suppose tin snips would be one answer, but I don't have substantial tin snips. I've got scissors, but they ain't going to cut stainless steel. Yeah, I think I'm entering blister territory now because the amount of grip you have to have to make this work is enormous. If I can see the line... Uh, let's do that one. You just have to have a lot of grip and then the, the movement's quite small. But it's a lot of grip, a lot of movements until you feel it break like that. Oh, I'm not sure that created a, a little piece, but most of them, a little piece comes out. Yeah, use the right tools for the job. A proper engineer wouldn't use needle nose pliers to break individual pieces of stainless steel wire. I haven't got the proper tools, so I'm making do with what I do have. Sometimes you just have to make do. There's a the little piece of wire, so that can stick onto there, onto the next. Oh, what have I been messing about at? Look at this. These um, cutters only cost about £1.50 on eBay, and they actually cut really well. If you go right in as deep as you can, yeah, they just cut. So that's working brilliantly. I'm going to have to tell back in now. And I, where am I? Where's my last cut? I think it's there. And none of the twisting and bending of wires. That works beautifully. What were these? Plato and no blisters. I suppose that's the whole point of engineering really, isn't it? You just learn as you go along. Oh, that shot across the room. I've got to be careful with that because I don't want stainless steel entering something that's got a fan because that will completely kill the fan. Oh, that shot across the room as well. Please be more careful. And that hurt. And now it's just a case of going around with the cutters trouble is that's on the tip of the cutter yeah that doesn't feel as good it needs to be deeper down but then I can't do it while it's sitting on here hmm yeah now it's just a case of going around and trimming these wires in what I believe is the most appropriate place but this is going to be very long and tedious but yeah I'll get there in the end that one wants to be cut there. Oh, I heard that. I'm now thinking that if I cable tie this on there with a significant bend in it, and it's a it's a meniscus, isn't it? Then I could simply go around the inside edge of this, snipping it with these pliers and use more of the tip, which will risk breaking them. But 
um, then when this thing springs back out it will be an absolute perfect fit on the inside of this curve I think I'm gonna do that so that's cable tied on there and there is a dish shape and I could pull that a little bit tighter I don't want to stress this cross beam here um, but yeah when that springs back out once I've cut all these to the precise inner edge of this that should spring back back out and lock that in place yeah so let's just go around cutting all those but I am think I'm gonna have to go outdoors so really not wanting to go outside my new technique is this grip the end of the wire and cut it with the cutters and there's a misalignment between these cutter ends and I've had to sort of bend these metal ends in a bigger pair of pliers to get them to align and if you keep realigning them they'll probably break eventually but uh, yeah I have managed to get them to uh, be able to cut fairly reliably so let's try another one yeah it's just I don't want these bits flying around the room but I don't want to go outside because it's raining and cold and nasty see I've got a misalignment there and it just won't quite cut through unless I get deep but then it's nudging wires out of the way that wires being pushed out of the way there maybe that slipped a bit yeah it's probably slipped a bit it's a lot of work and as I get rid of these last few stragglers this thing some of them just won't cut but this thing is starting to slide in it's it's gone in there so I'll cut a few of these off here but sometimes it just won't cut because these just don't quite align and they're not liking the stainless steel maybe if I come at them from the other angle because then I push away from the yeah I just can't get that to cut try and realign these again and there is the end result. So I just kept nibbling away at these ends until they were all about the right length for this thing. And this thing just sort of pushed in further and further and further. And then I just pushed it in the final way. Now, as you can see, the only thing that's slightly off is that there's a slight rotation with respect to this grill. Would have been nice if that had been completely straight, but it's not, and I'm not too bothered. And I'm not gonna bother to try and inch it round because that will these as I say wires are only um, woven between each other they're not uh, welded or joined in any way so the whole thing probably collapsed if I tried to rotate it I'm very happy with that because that I think this um, square size is about three millimeters that's going to keep all but the tiniest insects out that was worthwhile even though it was actually quite torturous cheerio